Good afternoon. Welcome back to Midday Live here on TV3. My name is Nanako Jaffre with a sports update. Let's get into the details now. And we'll be looking at the feud that has been ongoing between the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Ghana Football Association, where we'll hear from Ghana Football Association President Chrissy Nyantechi has branded outgoing sports minister Nilante Van der Poel a big disappointment and claims the minister was responsible for the poor showing of the Black Stars in the twin. Nyanteji and Nilante, a former football commentator and sports journalist, have had a frosty relationship in the one year he lasted as a sports minister, particularly over what the minister says was his attempt at instilling financial discipline. Nyanteji and the GFA views it differently and claims Van der Poy allowed personal hatred to affect his work. As soon as you put a budget together, he will publish it to the media even before he engages you. So we don't feel encouraged to do that. It just sends a message across that probably he doesn't know his work, you know, but excuse me to say that, but I think that it's important for us to appreciate the fact that anybody who finds himself in public office owes a duty to do well and follow procedure, law, and so forth without introducing mediocrity and any personal dislike for people. His personal hatred for me or the GFA I think blighted his work and made him a big disappointment to that uh, ministry that he headed. The minister is leaving office. It's history. Nyantechi went on to claim that the minister was a key factor in the poor performance of the Black Stars who fought running battles with the minister over bonuses and are winless in the last five marches. Every minister has a job description. I didn't make him a minister. And so he ought to know or he is... He's supposed to know how to go about his work. This modus operandi was entirely alien to what we knew. How will you engage a person who is unreceptive to advice, who is unreceptive to any constructive criticism or suggestion that you want to put across? So he's all in, all knowing, all in all, and he's entitled to take correct and wrong decisions. But at the end of the day, the nation uh, uh, was suffering under his tenure. Look at the performance of the blaster during his tenure. It has taken a deep dive into the ocean. Uh, it's yet to come out, and it's very unfortunate. Maybe it's good that he's no longer, he won't be the minister after the seven. Let's continue with the rest of the stories. And Ghana coach Evan Grant has made some big calls in his final 23-man list for the AFCON 2017 tournament in Gabon. He has dubbed Abdul Majed Waris, Rafael Jamena, and Lawrence Atama Lawe from the initial 26-man squad he announced on Monday and also confirmed a last-minute change in goalkeeping department as Fatah Odauda replaced Adam Karasi. Rafael Jamena and Majed Waris had scored more than 20 goals between them this season but were sacrificed for first timers Ebenezer Ofori and Bernard Tekpete. Key Ghana players are Samwajan, Andrea, Yumubara, Kwakaso, Christian Achu, and Jonathan Mensah, all named in the squad, including Edwin Jima, who has fitness concerns. The tournament kicks off in Gabon on the 14th of January. Ghana is based in Port Gentil, where they will face Mali, Egypt, and Uganda in Group D.